everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video we're going to talk about what kind of brushes you should invest in because let's face it, it's quite an investment. Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click on that ring bell button. This way you're going to be notified whenever I'm posting a new video. Now let's get into the subject. First of all, I want you to know that you should get the brushes depending on what you actually use. Like, do you use foundation? Do you use powder? Do you use bronzer? Do you use blush? So on and so forth. And I'm going to get through all the categories and tell you what brushes I think that you should invest in, what's worth having, what are those brushes that you're gonna use the most, that you're gonna get your money worth out of it. Let's talk about foundation application. One of my favorite brushes to apply foundations are like these. They're pretty round. They are synthetic hair. When it comes to liquids or creams, you don't want to use something that has natural hair. This kind of hair, this is more than perfect for your application. And you could just buff the foundation into the skin. It's super fast. It's easy. It does the job beautifully. You don't have to be an expert to use this kind of brush. So it's kind of mistake proof. I have a few in here that I actually love. We have Il Maquillage brush. This is in 100. It's called Foundation Blending Brush. Beautiful shape. I love it. You have Morphe M39 brush. Again, a little bit bigger depending on, you know, the size of your face. It's going to buff that foundation in. You have a Morphe G40. I heard that they don't make this anymore, but a similar one would be Y10. It's a pretty small blending brush, but I love it to apply foundation, especially in those days when I only want to apply a little bit of more like a skin tint on the center of my face and then spread it all over. But my absolute favorite one, where is it? It must be here. No? By far, the brush that you should absolutely invest in is this IT Cosmetics. I think it's called Complexion Perfection, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll put the name. Should be like a name in there. Okay. So IT Cosmetics. Why is this so amazing? This is not sponsored. They never even heard of me. This is amazing. I've just used it, so that's why it's dirty. The bristles are so soft, even though it's synthetic hair, and it applies the foundation like a dream. It's very rarely when you have a double head brush, when they actually both are very, very good. This other head for concealer. You will never use any other brush for concealer other than this, okay? The way I do it, I apply my foundation. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Then I apply my concealer uh, directly on the skin with my fingers. And then I come with this side and... If I want to blend my foundation with the concealer, I just... You see? You see? Like, do you understand how fast this is? And then... Do, 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 do. I paid 39 euros for it because you know I live in Europe. By the way, if you're in Paris, you can find it cosmetics in Nocibe. It's the name of the store. It's like a Sephora, but uh, just a different concept. Absolute must if you want to invest in brushes. If you're a little bit more on a budget, I totally recommend you to get Morphe brushes. I know that some of you are not happy with Morphe. To be completely honest with you, I bought all my brushes from them uh, at iMats LA. I never had any problem with any of their brushes. I don't know. For me, it worked. And then for concealer, I love this Zoeva one. So this is 142 Concealer Buffer. You will find on their website that they have different handle colors, but usually the, the bristles are the same. It's just that the the handle is a little bit different. Mine is kind of peeling. Now let me show you other concealer brushes. I want to show you a brush that it's like $6 and it's not your conventional concealer brush. This is a Morphe Y15 brush. And let me tell you this, this blends the concealer in a very airbrushed way. I do the same thing. I never apply my, I never take my uh, concealer with a brush. I just 
I think it loads the brush unnecessarily. So I rather apply the product on the skin and then buff it in. I love to apply concealer with this brush, especially if I'm dealing with someone that has very thin skin around the eyes, that's a little bit more mature, would very, very often use this brush when I'm using the airbrush concealer from Clinique. Now we're going to talk about four brushes in case you're using these products. We have bronzer, blush, highlighter, and powder. When it comes to powder, it depends a lot on the area that you normally like to powder. So for example, if you're like me, if you get a little bit more oily on the T-zone, but then on the sides of your face, you're kind of dry. You don't want to apply too much powder all over your face. So what I do, I usually take a smaller size brush for my powder. This is like the Aston Martin of the brushes, okay? This is Hakuhodo, that's the name. If you're a snob like me, you wanna get Hakuhodo because it's the best of the best, but it's also the kind of brush that's gonna last you forever. If you're a makeup artist, you're probably going to fall head over heels over this brand and their brushes. Getting back to this brush, I'll put the name in here because I always forget the name of this brush and you always ask me about it. I don't know exactly what kind of hair they have, but I can tell you that it's just amazing for powder. But it doesn't mean that there are no other brushes that do the job. Another brush that you could use that's similar to this and does the job and it's also for the same area of your face would be this one from MAC 133. Actually, this is the one that I uh, was using today. 133 brush. This is also a very, very good brush to have it in your purse, you know, just in case you need to touch up. Now, if you're the kind of person that wants to apply powder all over the face, more like a very, very thin layer of powder, I would recommend the 135 brush from MAC or any bigger brush. Like, again, if you're, you know, not on a budget, and I love this brush like this is. When I touch someone's skin with this, it's like, All of these brushes are for powder to be used all over the face. Now, which one I think it's worth investing in depends a lot, you know, how often to use that powder. Like if you can't live without setting your makeup with powder, I suggest you to get the MAC 135 because it's a good brush. It's going to last you a long time. If you want to invest a little bit more, you could get the Hakuhodo Austin Martin of brushes B 104 beautiful if you're a little bit more on a budget this is great it's a zoeva 90 brush does the job now when it comes to blush of course it, it matters what kind of blush you're using you're using powder or you're using cream now i know that most of you are using powder here are my options for blush and i'm going to start with the most expensive one, if you're looking to, you know, invest in something that you could have forever, you're not on a budget, you know, this is a Hakuhodo B110 brush. It has the perfect size for the cheek and it just spreads the product beautifully, no patches, but you could also use the kind of brushes that are a little bit angled like this. Normally they sell them for contour or bronzing, but I find them to be just very, very practical to apply blush as well. So this one, for example, it's from Zoeva 127. Very good brush. I love the size. I love the bristles. It washes beautifully. I've never had any problems with Zoeva brushes. I'll put the name of this brush in here. This is a MAC brush. The same, pretty much the same thing as this one, just a tiny bit smaller. Also, it's an angled brush perfect for, I find it to be perfect for blush, but also for contour. When it comes to cream products, I'm obsessed with this brush. This is from Kat Von D and it's from 10 year anniversary collection. I do not know what these bristles are. I know for sure that they're synthetic, but this is such an amazing brush for everything that's cream. I use it for my Tom Ford, the shade and illuminate. This is a creamy product amazing i also use it for this lip and cheek tint from the body shop by the way this is an amazing blush i'm wearing it right now it's very subtle it's very pretty by the way this whole makeup look is going to be on my instagram you could just follow me 
Thank you. <laughs> Moving on. Bronzer slash contour. Two of my favorite brushes for bronzer, and I'll explain why. They're not very dense, so when you're applying the bronzer on the face and you want to do more like this kind of motions, sometimes if you've applied just a very, very thin layer of foundation, the brush will kind of grab the product. If you have a brush that has very fine bristles, it's not going to do that, and I find that this is just perfect for that. It's MAC 137 brush. Again, if you are looking for something that's a little bit more accessible, get this one from Zoeva, the 127 brush. It's also very good. With this one, you want to do this kind of motions, right? And with this one, it's more like this, okay? You take the product and then you just dab it like this, okay? This is a very similar brush with the MAC. It's from Hakuhodo. It's just uh, no name. So the John Doe of Hakuhodo, it's a, you know, very, very similar brush with this one, but it's slightly smaller as you can see, but it's the same concept, you know? It's very easy to apply the, br uh, the bronzer. It's not gonna grab the product underneath. Another very cheap and very good brush for the bronzer or for your contour would be this one, Japanese. I got this from a drugstore in LA. Very good brush. NARS actually has a similar one that's probably like 50 euros or something like that, 40 euros. They, they also have a smaller one. If you're like looking to really contour that cheekbone you're gonna love that one when it comes to highlighter i have two brushes that i use pretty much all the time especially with my clients when i do my own make i could kind of use whatever i have clean and available in front of me but when i'm with a client you know, I want to use the best the brushes that i know they're they're gonna do the job so when i apply highlighter i'm always after these two brushes this is expensive at least uh here in france from anastasia beverly hills a23 brush i think it's 29 euros and then this one is morphe y14 and i think it's six dollars it's just perfect for this place it just spreads the highlighter beautifully i love this brush i also love this one but if you're in a budget check this out let's move on to eyebrows because this is going to be very 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 quick okay i have one brush to tell you about this is 7b from anastasia beverly hills there is no other Okay, this is the kind of brush that's going to create those perfect strokes that look like hair. It's so thin and it's stiff enough to leave that perfect stroke of a hair, you know? And then you have the spoolie on the other side. Perfection. Moving on to eyes. It depends so much what kind of makeup you do. Do you do eyeliner? Do you only do one color eyeshadow? Do you like to more like just use your fingers? Do you use creamy eyeshadows? Eye brushes have their own universe. I kind of use my hands a lot today. Like what is wrong? Pretty much all of these in here are blending brushes. What are the blending brushes? Those kind of brushes that you need when, to, when you want to give your eyeshadow, that smoky look, you're gonna use this, okay? A classic would be the 217 from MAC. Beautiful, amazing brush, totally worth your money. Another beautiful, amazing brush that is like the smaller sister of the 217. If you think that 217 is a little bit too much for you, I would recommend you the 221 brush from MAC. So this is the 217. And next to it, there's 221, the smaller one, okay? We got it. I mostly prefer to use MAC brushes when it comes to eye makeup. I don't even know why. I, I can definitely see myself looking throughout the, my brushes and always get the MAC ones. Another brush that I absolutely love to use, especially for small places like at the outer corner. I Actually, this is what I was using to create this smoky... Um, line at my outer corner this is a 219 from mac again it has that perfect tip where you could just blend very very small areas love it when it comes to applying the eyeshadow like onto the mobile lid you want to use more like a flat brush right i have this japanese 213 brush 
Japanese is good, not too crazy expensive. I find that this brush does the job. It's perfect size, especially for my small um, eyelids, you know. I cannot live without my 228 brush from MAC. This is a small detailed brush and I do so many things with it. So I could apply the eyeshadow at the base of my lashes and then with the tip, because it has a very, very nice tip, you could just blend. Then you could apply something at the base of your lower lashes. Another brush that I love to smoke out any line on my eyes would be this one from Zoeva. This is the 226 Smudger. This is the shape. I've actually used it. Another John Doe from Hakuhodo. But because it's so small, this is not too expensive. Basically, it's like the 219 from MAC. But in a very small version. Look at this. They're sisters. I would say 10 years difference between them. Great for lower lash line. Again, if you want to smudge it, but if you want to create like a very thin smudged line, this is per... Faction. I love this brush. So when it comes to lips, I use two different brushes. Actually, no, I use three because, you know, I'm a makeup artist, so. But I want you to know, if you're just a person that wants to have a brush to apply her lipstick, I would recommend this Morphe M421 brush. Synthetic, small, it's round, so you can, sometimes it helps so well when you're creating the V on your lips, you know? But then I use two other brushes for different things around the lips. Like for example, I would take uh, some concealer with this brush right here. This is a Morphe 212 brush. It's a flat brush, very thin. So sometimes if I want a very, very sharp lip liner, I would take a little bit of concealer, okay? And I would correct the shape of the lips just so that it looks almost surreal, you know? And then, this is the opposite of the other one. Angled brush. So what I like to do with this one, after I apply the lipstick, and I want it to be a little bit more like a blurry effect right here, I would just blend it and it looks very beautiful, very natural, and very modern, actually. Let's just talk about brushes that I never use, and let me explain why. It's too big. These kind of brushes that are so thick, you would think that they're very similar with some other ones that I have already showed you, but they're not. Actually, these are, this in particular, I bought this one from Marc Jacobs just because I wanted to have it, because it was white and the handle was white and I wanted to have it in my collection, but I actually never really use it. It's very thick, it, it takes a lot of space because this is the kind of cases that I use for my brushes, that's where I put my brushes. So this is going to take so much space. I obviously used this one, but then I never washed it. And then I've never used it again. This is a Morphe M444 brush. It's too stiff. I feel like it's not doing anything. It's just grabbing all the product that you've applied on the face. I feel it's like an old man without a neck. So no, I'm sorry. No, no, like I, I don't I don't like the shape and I don't like the, the length. I feel so bad that I don't like this. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> so I met I met the Laura Mercier when she launched her uh, line here in Sephora France. And at the end of the event, I got a bunch of products, including this brush. And I got home. I was so excited to try it. And then I tried it and I'm like, wait, this is like way too big for me. It's just not working for me, guys. Where? How? And why? All the brushes that are flat, uh, they, they don't work for me. Prefer something that's round because I feel like it works better with the curves of the face. We don't have any angle situation on our faces, so these brushes. The flat brushes for foundation. I never understood the point of these brushes. And this thing does not blend the foundation well. It's great to take the foundation from wherever it is, if you put it on a glass support or something, just takes the foundation and to just literally just put it on the face and then come with a brush like this to blend it. But to have this as your only 
foundation brush unpractical and expensive you know i used to use the fan brush a lot do you remember not anymore actually when i started to use this brush it was not for highlighter it was just to wipe the powder so what i would do is i would apply some powder under the eye and then at the end i would just you know with this brush this is what i i used to use it back in the days when i started to do makeup in like 2003 2004 i'm sorry that brush i know that a lot of people use it for contour i just don't so i never use these i hope you have now an idea about what kind of brushes you should go after when you're getting your accessories for makeup i will make sure to put all the brushes that i've mentioned in the description down below so go check them out if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the ring bell button this way you're going to be notified whenever i'm going to post a new video if you want to know more about me and what i do and just my life in general follow me on instagram as well and be part of my family in there we're, we're, we're getting big yeah, we're getting big. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. There are those kind of there are those kinds of